Welcome. Let's discuss the idea of dilation, where the center of dilation is not at the origin, zero, zero. Let's start by understanding the situation. Here we have a triangle ABC, where A is located at 4, 5, B is at 6, 3, and C is at 8, 6. And what we want to do, we want to perform a dilation on that triangle with the scale factor of 2. But now notice that the center of dilation is a 2, comma 2, not a 0, comma 0. We are given coordinate points, so let's turn on our coordinate plane. And now, let's put all this information in the coordinate plane. Let's start by placing our center of dilation at 2, comma 2. And now let's define our triangle ABC. So now that we have our points, let's actually create our triangle. Remembering that the scale factor is of a value of 2, what we want to do, we want to find the distance from P to every vertex and then double it. So the same goes with P to C, then we want to double it. Then from P to B, and then we want to double it. So let's find the distance from P to A. But notice this diagonal distance, it's a little bit difficult to find. So instead of considering the diagonal distance, let's consider the horizontal displacement and the vertical displacement that we have to do to start at point B and go towards A. So notice that we will be moving two units to the right and we will be moving three units up. So let's repeat that displacement when I'm starting at A. So from A, let's do two units to the right and three units up. So at this location, we can find the image of A. Let's call it A prime. So let's define it here. So now let's clean this up and let's concentrate on point B. Instead of looking at the diagonal distance, let's look at the horizontal distance and the vertical distance. So notice that we start at P and we go towards B, we are moving four units to the right and one unit up. So now let's repeat that movement when I'm starting at B. Four to the right, one up, and at this very specific location, this is where we can find B prime. Let's clean this up and do the same with point C. So let's not look at the diagonal distance from P to C, but let's look at the horizontal distance and let's look at the vertical distance. So if we start at P and we go towards C, we are moving six units to the right and four units up. So now starting at C, let's repeat the same movement. Six units to the right and four units up. And at this location, we will find C prime. So now let's clean this up. So now let's define our triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Let's understand our result. This triangle A prime, B prime, C prime, it's the result of a dilation from P towards the purple triangle ABC. If we were to have a different scale factor, let's say a scale factor of three, we would have to triple the same movement as we just did here. Let's take a look at another example. Let's understand the scenario. We are given triangle ABC, where the coordinate points are 8, 9, 14, 7, and 12, 13. And what we want to do, we want to perform a dilation, but now notice that the scale factor is 1 half, where the center of dilation is a 4, 3. Let's place this information in our coordinate plane. So now let's define our triangle. Let's understand what we want to do here. Because the scale factor is of one half, we want to find the distance from P to every vertex, which right now let's just consider A, and we want to find half of that distance. The same goes with C, we're going to find the total distance, and then we're going to find half of that distance. The same goes with B, let's find the total distance, and then we're going to half that distance. So let's start with point A. Notice that it's a little bit difficult to find the diagonal distance. So instead of looking at diagonal distance, let's look at its horizontal distance and vertical distance. Which in this case, if we start at P and we go towards A, we are moving four units to the right and six units up. So now let's take the half of each of those measurements. So instead of moving four, we're gonna move two to the right. And instead of moving six up, we're gonna move three units up. And it's at this location where we're going to find A prime, which is located at 6, 6. 
Now let's do the same for B. Let's not look at its diagonal distance. Instead, let's look at its horizontal distance and its vertical distance. If we start at a P and we move towards B, we're moving 10 units to the right and we're moving four units up. So now let's take half of those distances. Instead of moving 10 units to the right, we will be moving five units to the right. And instead of moving four units up, we're gonna move two units up. And it's at this location where we're gonna find B prime. Let's clean this up. Now let's repeat the process. We're now for point C. Let's not find the diagonal distance. Let's look at its horizontal distance and vertical distance. If we start at P and we move towards C, we will be moving eight units to the right and we will move 10 units up. So let's find half of those distances. Instead of moving eight units to the right, let's move four units to the right. And instead of moving 10 units up, let's move five units up. And it's at this location where we're gonna find C prime. And I just noticed that we never defined B prime, which noted that B prime, we had it at the location of nine comma five. So now let's clean this up. Let's connect our points. Let's make sense of this result. This triangle of A prime, B prime, C prime, it is the result of dilating the purple triangle by a scale factor of one half where the center of dilation is a four comma three. In other words, we found the distance from P to A, and then we have that distance. We did the same for C, and then we have that distance, and the same with B. We found the total distance, and then we have that distance. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.